Welcome, I'm Aliki. I'm here to help you upgrade your energy. In this video, we're going to talk about when you miss someone that you love. For whatever reason, you may be missing someone. You may miss someone who's passed away, someone who's moved away, someone who is not a part of your life yet the way that you would want them to be, or someone who has chosen to move out of your life temporarily, permanently. Whatever it is, you are in the energy of missing someone. And you're also in the energy of loving someone deeply who is not truly present in your life, who's not there, there for you to share moments of your life with them, to share your thoughts, to share your feelings, to share your ideas, to share your experiences. So I'm going to talk about how the energy works and what it is that you can do to move out of this heaviness and into truly moving forward, letting go of what needs to be let go, release that energy that perhaps may be holding you back, may be holding you in repeating cycles where you may feel trapped, where you may feel that there's no way for you to truly move out of this and be able to move forward. I will share with you how it is that you can move forward, how you can do it and truly honor the person that you're missing, honor the person that you love. And perhaps even if they are here in your life in some way, like if they've chosen, for example, to not be speaking to you or they've chosen to not um, be there with you, how it is that you can truly give this relationship a second chance, a new breath of fresh air, a new beginning. So we're going to drink some tea together and also have a chat. Also see what it is that you can do. Because if you're feeling powerless, that makes you move into heavy energy that you feel that you can't think clearly. You feel that your life is not yours to truly choose how it is you're feeling, to choose what it is you're thinking, to choose what it is that you want to be doing, what you want to be experiencing. And we're gonna move you into feeling empowered. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe and also remember to like. The energy of love is a beautiful energy. It is an energy that fills you with inspiration, that fills you with motivation. You feel excited to wake up in the morning and face your day head on. You feel that you can achieve anything, do anything, be anything. But when this is mixed with the person not being present in your life and you missing them dearly, you wanting so much that you feel that right now you do not have, that makes the energy of excitement and inspiration feel like you're heavy feel like you're trapped. And while momentarily you may feel that expansive energy, as soon as the realization that they're not truly there comes to your mind, that's when you start feeling low. That's when you start feeling heavy. That's when you want someone to speak to. So I'm here, let's speak about this. When it is that you miss someone. You think of all the things that you want to experience with them. You think of all the things that you are experiencing in your, in your day that you would like to tell them about. Hey, this happened. Hey, that and that is going on. And to also get their feedback, to get their ideas on this. And they're not there. They're not there for you to share this. So when it is that you realize that they're not there, you can easily speak to them in your mind. And you could say, I don't want to start going crazy and start speaking to someone who's not really there in my mind. And I'm not talking about doing this again and again. But take a moment where you're truly able to move into your heart, to move into your core, to not speak through the energy of your mind where it's all the things that you want that you don't have, but you can move into that 
happy energy, the expansive energy, the energy that's full of love, where you can stand in your power. When you're standing in your power, you're not swept away by the emotions that may come up from what it is that you want to say, from what it is that you might hear. And when you stand and you've moved your energy into your heart and your core, speak. Speak to them in your imagination. Say everything you want to say. S express everything that you're feeling. Express it as if they're truly there, as if they're standing across you, standing there listening to you. And also let them speak to you. You could say, how can someone speak to me? It's me just imagining and having an imaginary conversation in my mind. But the truth is that when you speak from your heart and you listen to the other person standing across you, what happens is that this energy truly exists, that this energy truly makes you feel that you are expressing yourself, truly feel that you can hear what the other person has to say to you. And the proof of this, that it's not just in your imagination, is that you won't always hear the other person saying what it's that you would want them to hear. You won't hear them expressing what it is that you would truly want them to be expressing. And in this way, you can check and you can know that this conversation is happening, that this conversation is helping you move into the energy of understanding. The more that you're able to understand how it is you are feeling by hearing what it is that you express, because many times it's when we say something that we realize and we say, ah, now I understand, now I see, now I know. So you'll learn things from what it is that you say. And when you hear what the other person says, you'll learn things from what they say. You'll have a deeper understanding. The more we understand how the energy is working, we understand the energy that we are experiencing, that we are in that very moment, the easier it is for us to let it go to release it fully and to release it, not by saying, I don't want to think of him. I don't want to miss her anymore. I don't want to feel this pain of missing them, of loving them and of them not, I'm choking up, of them not being here, not being at my side. You can tell that I miss someone. So when it is that you're feeling that, then you are able to express yourself. Then you are able to let them go, to release it fully. And you could say, why haven't you done it? Because right now I'm choking up. I, my cat, now I'm talking about a cat, but it's my dear, dear cat that I have saved, that I have rescued. He's an elderly cat. He was a feral cat that I found practically dead a year and a half ago, and I've done everything that I can to give him a quality life, to save him, to bring him back to health. And just some days ago, he collapsed and is now being hospitalized, so I miss him dearly. But he's doing really well, and I'm very grateful to the vet and to everyone who has helped me with this situation. And he's actually healing and will soon be back in our videos. He's the huge lion-like orange cat that you often see on the shelf behind me and on the bookcase. So let's, his name is Cosmo. Let's all send Cosmo healing energy and happy thoughts full of love. So when it is that you miss someone and you're able to express everything that you feel. The power of your words, when it's coming from the heart, brings forward this powerful energy. And by it being spoken, it is seen, it is brought forward here into the physical. It has um, a more real energy coming forward. And then you are able to see it, to know it so much more. And when you see it and you know it, then you can truly release it, truly let it go. 
And just by having the intention of releasing it and moving forward with happiness and with love, this is so liberating. This moves you forward into high frequency energy, high vibrational energy, because you release the heaviness. Speak with love. Forgive. Truly say, I forgive you. Let the other person express everything that they, it is that they want to say to you. Listen. The power of listening is so deep. It has this energy that moves you forward. It truly puts things into action. By you being able to stand in your power and listen, you are able to move forward with knowledge. Because when you listen and you gain the knowledge and you're open and you're listening to it with love, the knowledge turns into wisdom. And when you move forward with wisdom, that is so empowering. That is so powerful. And when you put this into action in your life, you're able to truly make choices with knowledge, with wisdom, then it is that you're able to see the people who are there, who are in your life. And yes, it may not be the person that you're missing, but there are people there. There are people who are at your side. There is always someone who cares about you. And you could say, no, no one cares about me. No one sees me. No one misses me. No one loves me. I've read comments that express this. But the more you are able to love you, to see you and understand you, you move into truly being powerful. I'm in the process now of creating a powerful course called Attract Love. This course moves you into the energy of love and truly attracts the person that you are connected to in your heart, in your core. Not the person that you may be missing with your mind, but the person that your heart is connected to. That energy that moves you forward into energy that is highly created, so powerful, that moves you into the best that you are and brings forward the best in the person at your side. So this course was designed for both of you to come together as one, be together and move forward together. One, truly one. If you're ready for the one, check out the link below for the Attract Love course. Now, when you are missing someone, the thoughts do not always bring heavy energy. The thoughts are sometimes full of happy thoughts, happy things that you have experienced with them, happy thoughts of all that you have said and done together. Think of these thoughts and move into the gratitude for all that you experienced with one another, for all that you shared with one another, for all that you said and expressed with one another. This energy of something that is said, of something that is done, always exists. It's always there. You can always feel it. You can always move into that gratitude of all that they mean to you, of all that they are for you. When this energy is created, it is always in the energy of creation. It can't be wiped out. It can't be erased. So you could say, what is it that I'm letting go of? You're letting go of the heaviness. You're letting go of the energy of feeling trapped missing this person of you not being able to do all that it is that you want to be doing, of all that it is that you want to bring forward in your life and experience in your life. When you release this and you move forward, you will be inspired, you will be motivated, you'll wake up full of excitement, and you'll know that this person's energy 
is at your side. If you choose for them to be at your side, they're there. You could say they're not physically there, yes, but they're there. You are always one if you were connected in your heart and in your core. And if all the energy of missing them is heavy, let it all go, release it all. Now, another thing that I really think that it's important that we speak about is the fear of that if you let them go, you lose them from your life forever. You lose the connection that you feel to them forever. But energy that is true, energy that is in your heart and in your core can never be lost. It is always true. It is forever flowing. It is forever being, forever in existence. What it is that you can let go of is anything that is from the mind, anything that is from fear, from shame, from guilt, anything that is heavy, anything that is causing you pain, causing you sadness, that is what can be released. That is what can be let go of. Whatever is true will always remain, will always be there. Move out of the fear. The connection will always be there if you are connected at your core. So do not allow fear of losing this person to hold you back, to keep you trapped. It is only your mind that can keep you trapped in this energy. It is only your mind that can make you feel that you lack something, that you lack someone, that you need someone or something to be there for you to experience all that you want to be experiencing, for you to be all that you know that you are, for you to show the world that you are truly magnificent, truly amazing, full of love, full of happiness. You do not need someone at your side to experience happiness, to experience love. But yes, if someone is also physically at your side, yes, that is extremely powerful. That is extremely creative. I'm not saying that you should not have someone at your side, but I'm saying that you don't need someone at your side for you to be happy, for you to experience love. I wish you happiness. I wish you love. Thank you so, so much for being here. May your most beautiful dreams come true. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, and also remember to like.